Hello everyone, this is Christina with Kilburn's Creations. I'm going to play with some Palmer clay today. What I'm wanting to do is make these. Let's see if I can get that focus better. Make those. These were actually beads from uh, Joann's that I got. Has one string that goes through them. But I was doing these flowers, crocheted flowers, and I was using these as my centers. But I was making blue ones also, and my purple one is almost done. But anyways, I was taking doilies like this, making different sizes, and layering them, and then using these for the very center of the flower. I think you might have seen that on one of my uh, videos that I did when I did those uh, yo-yo flowers. So this is my attempt. Um, these are actually ceramic ones. I think they're porcelain. And with porcelain it has to be fired. Which I can do. I do have a kiln. And then they glazed over the top of it and then they mother pearled it so I'm using Palmer clay so it can't go in the kill so I'm not going to be able to make a do a glaze job on it this is one that I have finished I think I'm going to put some uh, gel nail polish on it the two-step top coat and bottom coat to get the shiniest and then maybe a little bit of glitter get a little bit more sparkle so here's what we're gonna do you're gonna roll your clay sheets out these are two of five, I believe. And let's take this one here. And what you're going to do is get your clay all conditioned and ready to work. And then this is a three-eighths of an inch circle hole punch. And you can, I got mine on Etsy. And all you do is you take it, and it wants to stick inside. And you want to cut several of them. Like so. And around here with cats, all the cat hair and everything, the one that fell goes to the garbage because when I pick it up, it's going to have a whole bunch of cat hair. So, so then after that, I've been taking that foam, fun foam stuff, and I've been laying them down. And you can press it with your fingers like this. It's all fine and everything. But after you do like four or five of them, it sticks to your fingers and don't want to come apart. So I've been taking them and laying them on the fun foam. Fold the fun foam down. And then just take my roller. Open it up. And there you've got the same thing. With no stinky fingers. When I play with the Palmer clay, it likes to, when it starts getting warm and stuff, my hands get too warm. And it wants to stick to me and my fingernails and all kinds of stuff. So, that's how we get this part here.
So now we are going to make this centerpiece right here. Okay, I'm going to work in blue, purple again, so we're going to take one of these up. And where's my little stick? I had one here. And I just kind of press it down between my finger and my thumb and then roll it. And there's a part of your bud. And then we pick up another one and just add it to the right height. And roll it. Then we're going to pick up a white one and lay it to the same height and roll it. Now on the center one, I have been doing two of the color clay and six. Of the, let's see, I got a fingerprint in there, so I can, we want that to go a little bit higher. Okay, and when we do this, you see how I'm not pushing up here on top. It's all down here when I roll it. You want to keep these where they look like they're loose. And I'll show you why here in just a moment. Let me get my other three up on here. Oops. And see how I'm pushing it down here and not up in here. I hope you can see that. And then I'm going to put another one right next to it. That one's well deformed on the edge. So I'm going to put this one right about there and push it around down here on the bottom. The Palmer clay will stick to itself. Oops. And then we have another one. And this will be my sixth one. Okay, so now that we have this all together, what we want to do is take a smooth brown pick I think these are cocktail picks. You can use a toothpick too. And you just gently want to roll those down on the edges. Roll it down just a little bit. Just to give it a little look of being opened. I did the center one. And then I'll place it onto a tile. And I will make another one. Let's see, we want the purple first. Put this on a nice smooth edge. And just roll it. Then we're going to take another one and roll it this way. Then we will take a white one, line it up so the petals are proud, even, and just push it. I'm rolling it down here on the bottom, not the top. It makes a big difference. should have been a little bit higher. And then we take our, and come to the outside first. 
and just kind of push those petals down gently. Might have to do a little bit of a rolling technique. Yeah, that one should have been a little bit higher, but it'll work. And then we do this purple one. There's another center. So my next one would be to start doing the outside. These ones here on the outside. So to do that, we would take one of the purple and roll it into a rosebud like so. And then we would only be taking three of these white ones. this one here. So there's a little, but you notice they have a leaf. But they put the leaf on the big one. I'm actually going to put it next to the little ones. And what I do for the leaf part is get the nice size up and take my toothpick with the point and I squeeze those together and then I just squeeze it on top like that. And then see how I have this one and this one almost cross from each other and this one this will be across from that third leaf right there. And just roll it up a little bit at the bottom. Take your stick down, roll those petals out a little bit so it looks like it's been opening. And there you have that one. Put that on the tile that has to be baked. Let's do another one for you. Take the white one. Put that one next to that one. And then here's the third one. And I lay that down and get my leaf. Go into the center, bring these up together, and then push these down. And that's how I make my little leaf for that side. And my last leaf went right, or my last petal went right here, so we want to go across it, mainly to even the flowers out. I want that down a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Roll it at the bottom so it's like a point. And then we want to open these up. Just like that. So after you get these done, I leave them on my tiles, and then I have bought these cookie sheets for Palmer clay only. And I just lay my tiles in there like that. And I can get up to four tiles sometimes. Maybe five. Oh. No, I can get up to six tiles in here. Okay. But I just do as many tiles as I need, and I can put this all into the oven. So. I will finish working on those. I can go over there. So that is your basics for that. You take them and put them in your oven, toaster oven preferably, and I set it for 250 degrees in the oven 
for about 15 minutes. And then what I get out of that is these right here. There's my center parts. There's another center one. And there's my little ones. So after you get those done, what I take is I took some clay here. It's on the thickest setting. And I cut out these holes. And that was how many inches? Three quarters of an inch. And then you're going to want to push this down with the wet clay, unbaked clay here, so it sticks to your tile. And then I used a little bit. Liquid Sculpey. Yes, yeah, Sculpty. And we're just going to put it down there on the bottom for it like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take our smaller flowers with the leaf and we are going to set them on the side here and push it down into that clay a little bit. Not real hard. I'm making sure my leaf stays up. I don't think it would really matter whichever way you liked it better. So, green leaf goes up. Another green leaf comes up. And since the clay is will stick to itself, we really don't have to worry about the contact so much. And that's why I kind of put the sculpted clay in there too, the liquid, so that it will have something for it to stick to. And these can be different. I think I got eight around one the other day. How many did I get around this one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I got eight on this one. So it depends if you bring it out this far or that far. So this one has seven on this one. And then I'm going to put a little bit more sculpty clay right there in the center. Close that up. I'm going to get some clay here. It's white. It can be scrap. I prefer the colors I'm using, that way it doesn't look out of sorts. And we drop that right there in the middle like that. And then after that, we take the large flower that we made, and we stick it into this. Press it down like so. So now we are going to press all these together at the same time, and press that down. And then I put that into the oven at 250 degrees for 20 minutes. So after I did that, this is what I came out with. It's all glued together, it's not falling apart. The only thing about this is since I stuck it to the tile, it's still tucked to the tile, but it does not take much to pull it off like so. So here is the finished flower. Come on. So there is the finished flower. It doesn't have the glaze on it like this one does. So it's not going to be quite that shiny. But for three-dimensional projects like this, I've been using those uh, gel nails, top coat and bottom coat. You do your bottom coat and then you put it under the rays. And I get, I'll give it the shiny and then we can put some glitter on it or something extra like that to give it the iridescent look. For, uh, fortunately, this iridescent look right here can only be done with a kiln. You have to be able to cook it. Um, I don't know of anywhere that sells the earthenware around here, but I think you can order different types of clay through Hobby Lobby. 
Um, here we have a place called Runyon Ceramics. And he makes his own clays and um, sells them out. So if you wanted to work with a clay like this, which is porcelain, you put it all together. After you get all the pieces made, you would do the same way we did this one. Make all the pieces and then have it in the kiln and cook. Uh, in the kiln, it might be longer. Depends on how big your kiln is and how hot it will get. And then these ones here, but after you bring it out of the kiln, then you're going to want to... See, they placed it on something and then they sliced it off. Where I used the round thing here to hold it all together. So that is one of the Palmer Clay projects that I wanted to work on so I could get some more of those Dorothy flowers made. And it's not that hard. Hope you guys liked it all. Feel welcome to leave any comments. Um, oh yeah, these at uh, Joann's, I got them I think they were $7.99 and I got them at 50% off. So I have $7.90 before, so they, these come out to like a dollar a piece. Is what I got them at Joann's. Normally they'd be $2 a piece. So, but it's a simple. I'm happy with it. And this is what I will be doing for the next, for, for today for sure. Hopefully I can start on a different project tomorrow. So, hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for watching. You all have a good day. Bye-bye. Mm,